First, there was dense nothingness. This nothingness divided into existence. From one part of this existence, human souls were raised in Kalubala. And they were asked by the Creator, Who is your Lord? And all the gathered souls replied, You are our Creator, our Lord. Then one soul was asked to enter this human body. In the name of Almighty, I begin. Greetings, my name is Abdul Rashid Shah. I hail from Anatnag, Harnag. My father was Alim Shah and both of us worked in the hospitality industry. We were often visited by a spiritual guru, Ali Muhammad Gilkar. Those were the days of poverty and thus he would stay with us for long periods. Because of which I used to spend a lot of time with him. Now I am 65 years old. First 15 years went with childhood, so last 50 years I have gained experience in this field of spirituality. Around the age of 40, my father used to tell me to understand it, one has to merge with the oneness. So you should listen to your teacher. Then once I started listening properly, things started resonating within me. My father used to tell his disciples also about this merging, but all couldn't understand its true meaning. Then I put all my concentration on comprehending the true nature of merging in the oneness. I lost my wife during this period and had to raise my 12-year-old daughter who supported me in my endeavor. I used to enter into certain experiences while lying down and that would scare my daughter. Then I could not continue my practice at home so I started spending time outside my home and I would be gone for days. Then my own family started rebuking me for leaving such a young child all alone. But later, God showered his blessings on her and she got married, after which I started searching all over the valley in different districts like Kulgam, Srinagar, Shupyan and went to many spiritual teachers to share my experiences. But I got no confirmation from them. I continued my practice and I felt great vibrations in my spinal cord and I went into a surreal experience which scared me greatly. I felt a great fear rush through my body. I again went out to seek help from my peers, but all in vain as they could not confirm my experiences with their own. I started meditating with more concentration and tried to spread the knowledge of my master to almost a hundred people, but I soon realized that they were also not ready to lose their self in this path. So I asked them to change their master. My search for truth brought me to Ashmukam, where I stayed almost for 10 to 12 years. All realities were broken once my beloved met me. The venom of merging in oneness, all from me was taken once my beloved met me. Greetings, my name is Urfi Jan and I live in Ashmukam. What I wish to convey is very difficult, so I will try to put my story through some important points. The question is how I met Shah Rashid. I had a vision once where I saw myself near a sacred shrine where many people were engaged in festivities. I was also there amongst various beings. Suddenly I was alone and I felt lonely and afraid. In this anxiety, I saw my neighbor, namely Ghulam Qadir. He calls me towards himself and takes me towards a hut where I can see two men standing. He asks me, do you know these men? And I reply, no, I don't know. But later, when I saw their photograph, I got to know one of them is Shah Rashid's father and the other is his teacher. Meanwhile, in the vision, I am stuck in a situation and these two men tell me, do not worry, come with us. They take me to a mountain peak where, near another hut, a man is standing. These two men tell me that we will hand you over to this man and he will guide you. Then my vision ended. Those days I was very sick and I was taken to many doctors and faith healers. But my condition remained the same. Then one day a relative of ours asked me to accompany him to meet someone who might be able to help me. We reached to a humble home where amongst many present I saw him, Shah Rashid, the man from my vision. 
Then I reached Mansgam, where I met this child, and upon meeting her, I felt a deja vu, as it seemed to me that I had seen her in my visions before. So I asked her to wear her veil as she used to wear it in her childhood, and upon seeing her in that get-up, it was confirmed to me that she was the girl from my visions. While I am experiencing these visions, I am completely unconscious and oblivious of anything around me. I am not sure where his meditation takes him. But in that state, he becomes catatonic, lifeless. He feels no pain and seems unconscious. Once, when same happened, all his disciples got worried and tried to bring him back to consciousness. But in that state, he started speaking some words. And thereon, I started penning down his words. When he would come back to his senses, he would not remember any of the words he had recited. What he saw and experienced remains a mystery for us. Urfiji then records all that takes place with me and in two to three hours I come back only to hear from her that in my otherworldly state I recite words of which I have no memory and feel great tiredness throughout my legs and arms. God created man so that he could show humanity towards others and work together in walking the path that leads to salvation because man on his own does not go out to search as he gets stuck in the chores of daily life and thus is not able to understand his own purpose and direction in life for that he requires a master who has knowledge that goes beyond the nine biological doors that man possesses he must be aware of secrets that the Creator has put inside the spine of a human being. Old knowledge has always hinted towards this secret, but man stays unaware and does not meditate to merge in the oneness of creation, as it is only inside man himself where the ultimate truth resides. When the Creator created Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, he stabilized him by putting an existence inside him and asked him to prostrate. But he replied that only you are my Lord and I will bow down to you. Thereon, from his ribs, a female counterpart was created, known as Eve. Old knowledge suggests that a fruit caused changes in them and an unclean spirit took its place inside their body. A lot of scholars believe it to be the animal self that is present inside man. But in its utmost reality, it is actually the presence of certain drops that have been divided and then joined again. Man needs to make himself aware about the reality of these drops as to which of them is male and which is female. Man is highly attracted to the physical world and thusly concentrates only on the physical body. But he should actually be attached to the study of these two drops and their merger. Man possesses seven doors of senses on his face and two below his abdomen. But to become aware, he needs to reach to his spine as only true masters know that the real door to salvation resides there. Both of these drops can be found in men as well as in women. We need to become conscious of where these drops can be found so as to release them from their fixed position. And in this endeavor, only a true master can be of help in locating the tenth door. This door goes beyond the nine sensory doors and that is why a true master should himself be aware of this door so as to know how to get it opened. Whether through practices or through the master's eyes, it has to be earmarked. This door is the source of divine law and spirituality, but to access them, men need to follow the right path. Otherwise, neither will they be able to follow the divine law nor will they be able to access their own spiritualities. And in this, his eyes need to push inwards to locate the truth. A man's real journey and destiny are already ordained by the Creator. 
but in this physical realm he forgets his purpose and drowns in the deception of this mortal world but rather he needs to embark on a journey to remember his ordained purpose and only such a master can show the way who himself has traveled the path of the tenth door when death will enter man he should be in a state of bliss and not connected to the deceptions of the mortal world so that he can reach to the seat of his consciousness and thusly completing his ultimate purpose that is self realization man is born with the devil inside him and on seeing such he commits mistakes but he can keep an eye on this devil and only then he can control him and subjugate him in this journey a master can be of a great help by providing moral support to his disciple since the devil is found in all people no matter what religion they say that the body belongs to the devil because he has worked hard on it therefore a master can help his disciple in identifying the devil inside him and cage him away so that the disciple is free from the deceptions of the devil some masters resort to listening of spiritual music and poetry to learn to focus their concentration but once i completed my focus a great musical rhythm burst inside me which allowed me to locate the tenth door and i surely entered it but these vibrations are involuntary and i possess no control over them once i have entered the ethereal realm of existence now i would like to speak to you about the existence in the physical world versus the existence in the spiritual world all the knowledge of the physical world the names the definitions lose their meanings in the spiritual world and once you journey inside yourself and reach the spiritual realm you realize that you possess a different name there the purpose of human life is to discover this hidden flower in them and to realize from where their consciousness comes from and what to do with it but alas when we enter this physical realm we get stuck in this mortal pleasure and thus it becomes the prerogative of the master to help his disciple discover the sign of the creator inside him man was created best of all creations because only he has the ability to find such signs inside of him hence it becomes the responsibility of all men and women to free themselves and others as well from this worldly bondage all the incarnations prophets and sages have hinted towards this reality but those were times of ignorance so the message was lost in translation but in today's world scientific knowledge is accessible to all people and i am sure if the youth put their minds to it they can unlock the secrets of human existence all that was said today can be difficult to comprehend hence a book namely vargaposh is being released in which all these points are well explained so that all people may benefit from the secrets of the hidden flower